Hello everyone, I welcome you back. In today's lesson, we will learn on the difference between the classical conditioning and the operating conditioning. In our previous lesson, we talked about the classical conditioning as well as the operating conditioning. If you haven't watched the videos, please check it out later. Alright, so let us proceed on with today's lesson. So to look into the differences between classical conditioning and operating conditioning, first of all, let us see who discovered these two theories. Classical conditioning was first discovered by Pavlov accidentally during one of his experiments. Operating conditioning was discovered by Skinner, therefore he is also known as the father of operating conditioning. One of the differences between these two theories is to know what is paired. Now in classical condition, a conditioned response is paired with an artificial or neutral stimulus. Now the question arises, what is conditioned response or what is artificial neutral response? As we have seen in the experiment conducted by Pavlov, the hungry dog is associated bell with food. So whenever it hears the bell, the dog started salivating. So the conditioned response is salivating and the bell is the neutral or artificial stimulus. Whereas in operating conditioning, behavior or response is paired with consequences. It is not the stimulus, but the consequence of the behavior is more important, unlike in classical conditioning, which stresses the importance of stimulus. Now, for example, in Skinner experiment, the hungry rat learned to press a lever to get food. Now, because of its good consequences, the red repeated this behavior of pressing the lever to get its reward. Another difference is in classical conditioning, stimulus will come first before the response. For example, as you've seen in the experiment, only after hearing the ringing of the bell, the dog started salivating. Therefore, in classical conditioning, the stimulus will be presented first and then it will follow the response or the behavior. Whereas in operating conditioning, it is quite the opposite. Behavior will come first and is then rewarded or punished. Now, if the behavior is rewarded, it will be repeated. Whereas if the behavior is punished, it is less likely to be repeated. For example, as we have seen in the experiment, first the red pressed the lever, then only it was rewarded. Now on receiving its reward, the red repeated this behavior again and again of pressing the lever. Now classical conditioning is called as conditioning. Why? Because it emphasizes the importance of the stimulus, whereas operating conditioning is called R conditioning because it emphasizes on the importance of response or behavior. In classical conditioning, response of behavior is involuntary, whereas in operating conditioning, behavior is voluntary. Here the subject decides whether to repeat the behavior or not based on the consequences of its rewards or punishment. Okay, so that is all I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you find it helpful, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.